Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at snow foams and the differences between some versus others. Um, there's a recent video that came out from uh, Car Supplies Warehouse where they compared four different snow foams together and uh, they came to the conclusion that they don't do anything. Uh, I disagree. I think and I know, and a lot of people also seem to know because I read the comments, it depends on the foam. And what you're going to see in front of you is one of the foams that gets mentioned quite a lot, which is Built Hamber's Auto Foam. Um, and that the whole point is if you have a mild detergent, a pH neutral foam or a pH neutral car soap, it is just not as strong as something pre-washes and traffic film removers and stuff like that but they do make foams that are that strong and these are two of them i mean well one of these is one of them and you'll see that in a minute when i get to the uh comparison between these two so i have been using polar blast um for a while now i don't use it too often because it's i don't do foaming all the time but I bought it because it has a thick foam and what I would do is I'd spray APC on the vehicle and then foam over it and use the foam to keep the APC wet and let it dwell longer because um, it doesn't dry as fast. That's one of the reasons why foam cannons exist is it stays on the panel longer. Um, but I'm about to run out of it so I thought I'd compare these two together and uh, I've always wanted to get auto foam but until recently, it wasn't sold in Canada, but now it is. And, oh boy, there is a difference between these two. Um, the big thing with built hamber and how you use it is you don't go ratio 5 to 1, 10 to 1, something like that. It's all panel impact ratio, which is pretty much how much, um, how much water goes through your lance to drain the bottle. So say you've got a, a 1 liter bottle on your foam cannon, and it takes um, 12 liters of water to drain that bottle, you've got, you calculate it based on that. So Built Hamber for their strongest, their highest concentration is 4%. So if you had 12 liters um, on a one liter bottle, it'd be about 480 mils of Built Hamber in the foam lance for 4%. Um, I didn't do that for this test. And my reasoning is, is that Autoglim goes by a ratio, they say maximum five to one, and then they tell you to tweak it from there depending on your setup. So I used both of these at five to one, which is obviously nowhere near as much as 4%, but it uh, is probably around two, um, just because that's what this uses and I wanted to put them on equal grounds because where I live, these cost the same per liter. Uh, it's about 60 or so bucks for this, and it's about 30 bucks for two and a half liters of this. So you do the math, they're roughly the same price. This I have to ship, this I can buy in store, but otherwise they are roughly the same cost per unit. So what you'll see in the wash footage, which I'm going to put in right now, is each one was div divvied up to one side of the vehicle. Um, the Auto Glim and the built hamber, again, both used at five to one, and they were both rinsed with a wide pattern spray head, not a really concentrated strong one, because I wanted to see how much would come off with just detergent. I, you know, you can pressure wash it point blank with a really strong tip and you'll get more stuff off, but I wanted to let the cleaner do the work, not the pressure washer. So anyway, let's cut into the wash footage and then we'll punch back in afterwards to go through the conclusions.
Okay, now that the fun water stuff is all done with, you'll see there's two yellow microfibers in front of each of these barrels. And on the flip side, the side you can't see, is the uh, remaining dirt after rinsing those panels off. So once I finished rinsing them, I wiped down the middle of the driver and passenger front doors um, and to see how much dirt was still left behind. And we'll start with built hammer. And as you can see, besides the stuff that I just picked up off the table, pretty dang clean. There's a little bit right here, just a tiny bit, but it's overall quite clean. And there's your auto bloom. So as you can see, a lot more dirt was left behind. And this is reiterating what I said earlier in, in contrast to what the Car Supplies Warehouse video showed, that you can get a foam that can clean. Uh, and it makes that process actually worthwhile. You can pull a surprisingly large amount of dirt off the car, even without going to that 4% um, panel impact ratio, which, you know, you would be going through quite a bit of product. You know, it's almost 500 mils for a liter, depending on your setup. Um, but it just goes to show most of the foams out there are not actually meant to clean. They're more of a, they're honestly for the show, which I agree with them saying like all four of those, so, you know, foams that they used were not meant for pre-washing. They were meant to just pull off some dust or make it look fun. But if that's all you want to do, the auto Glim is great. It makes a ton of foam, but it has zero cleaning power. It, it, pressure wash will do just as much as putting that on to be honest with you but the built hammer will actually eat and clean and there is other foams out there you know Koch Chemi does make an active foam which as you see here high activity snow foam so um, there is other foams out there which actually can clean a panel but you actually you have to research you have to find the ones that actually do it and this stuff used at even like 1% will still clean more than this. I've used it at 8 to 10 to 1 on my uh, my other car and it pulled a ton of stuff off. I did not need to did not need to use it that hard to get a good amount of dirt off the car and actually make a difference and make, you know, the following wash steps less labor laborsome, you know, like a lot of dirt was removed. So I think, you know, just goes to show that not all things are created equal. Uh, for me, it's a blessing because they're both the same price, so I don't have to. I don't have to buy something that's more expensive. And you know, if you have access to Built Hammer, then by all means, I highly recommend it. They do have another one called Touchless, which I think is supposed to be a little bit stronger. But overall, you can't go wrong with this guy. And uh, that company, just in general, is sort of no nonsense. Their products just do what they say. So. Um, so yeah, uh, if you're looking for a snow foam, do your research. And if you can get Bill Hamber, get it. Anyway, thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.